right guys, well today I'm uh, working on getting this uh, Bay of the Barn cleaned out for uh, the 2020 hay crop. Uh, it's not going to be near as much as I usually make, but uh, this loose stuff, I'm loading up the wagon here and I'm going to take this up on top of the hill to where that manure pile was and it's just bare ground right now. And there's probably nothing going to grow on that manure pile at least this year or at least late till late in the season. So we're going to throw some of this uh, hay on top of it to cover it. And uh, that manure, manure pile spilled out into the field a little bit. So I want to make sure that uh, even if they plant through it, it's got some <laughs> organic matter, I guess you could say. I don't know. I have to get rid of it. I was going to rebale it, but it's just not high, high enough quality. Um, and then I'm going to leave enough here for one manure spreader load. I'm going to fork it on the manure spreader and uh, take it to a very low organic matter place on the farm and spread it with the manure spreader and uh, that'll help clean the manure spreader out get all the manure off of it uh, for the most part I did scrape it down uh, I'm not going to wash it but at least uh, run some hay through it and I'm going to take that back to my neighbor I'm done with it uh, but today the goal is to get this bay clean for the uh, the hay that's uh, coming this year so let me work at this and it looks awfully dark out to the east. Looks like thunderstorm type clouds. I don't know if that's coming this way. Usually our storms are coming from the west or southwest, but I don't know if that's already around us or what's going on, but uh, yeah, I'll do some inside work until that clears up. So why, why so much loose hay, you might ask? Well, this is not all my hay uh, chaff. Um, this comes from the uh, previous uh, guy to farm here. He had left uh i don't know that much six inches or more of uh, chaff on the floor here and uh, i was rushed for time uh, when he got his empty i had hay to come in so i just threw mine on top of his so this year we're going to get it all cleaned out down to the wood going to sweep it up right down to the floor and uh, we'll have a nice clean bay to start the year no old hay so it'll all be the new stuff going in uh still have a little bit left back there not much but uh, i think we might have made it that i kept my customers all the way through the year i kept thinking i was going to run out but uh they did start taking 2017 and that's almost gone so uh, it might be gone this year yet so we'll see all right so we got this covered more or less probably could have brought a little more hay up but it is what it is i should have brought my leaf blower too to get all the chaff off the wagon uh should head back for the farm i think and so we're just gonna clean this off and uh, head down see what happens with the weather all right so we got the wagon blown off i have the uh, spreader hooked up here to the 685 so now we got some manual labor to do all right, so I got a pile of bales to go through. Some of these aren't so good. Uh, that is load number two. Uh, probably could have got it on one. Uh, last year, I would jump up in the spreader and pack it down, but I found it doesn't spread as nice. Comes out of there in lumps instead of a nice fluffy uh, spread. So just throw it on within reason and then uh, go spread it. So let me, let me take care of this one. All right, well, that ended up being four or five loads. Uh, a lot more in here than I thought, but couple good ones I found and uh, it's not totally clean clean but uh, it's good enough to put the uh, 2020 hay crop in we're down to the floor yeah, I didn't go around all the poles or anything I'm not gonna worry about it so uh, looks good I'm gonna spread this last load it's not real heavy there's not a lot of tons of organic matter going on but uh, those I'll save for any wet spots I'll throw in those aren't any good so two rows in the back is all we got left so all right I gotta keep moving <coughs> I want to take this spreader back to my neighbor
All right, guys, I'm not really sure how this video is going to flow together, but uh, again, we're taking clips uh, video over the course of a, a week. So um, the corn is all planted, I think. Uh, we're going to go for a ride here and check it out. See if they got done yesterday. Uh, like I say, I was at work. So um, let's go check on that. All right, first of all, this corn down in the bottom here, this was planted on the 21st of uh, May, which was the earliest now in three years. So this today's the fifth day, and uh, that's where we're at. So won't be too long. We'll have uh, pretty well have full emergence here. So uh, it's nice that we had two different plantings five days apart because it kind of breaks up the uh, the work as far as the the spraying and the top dressing. Not that I have a lot of acres, but like I say, when you're working full time. It's not always easy to get things done on time uh, on any scale when you're uh, working a job so all right i'll uh, take you up on the hill all right i can see the rows uh, this field is planted so they got that done beans aren't up yet green fields in the area. It's a lot lighter green. It wasn't that many days ago that I had uh, spring, so we'll see. And I got cut off there. Okay, and this field is planted the way it looks. So yeah, looks like all the corn and beans are in for sure for uh, 2020, so that's good. All right, so that's the end of planning 2020. Uh, plenty more videos to come. Thank you guys for watching.